Hi everybody, James Mulvaney here from the Web Video Co and welcome along to this session in which we're going to be talking about what your marketing videos say about you. What do I mean by that? Well, you can use uh, videos to publish your knowledge and establish yourself as an expert in a particular field or market or industry. Now, if you're already doing this by publishing articles online or if you frequently write blog posts, maybe even write for a magazine in a trade magazine, or maybe you use social media to impart your knowledge on people, these all establish you as an expert authority. And it's really important online that people trust you you know, potential prospects actually know who you are in your marketplace and you're seen as an authority figure. You're seen as a person who knows what they're talking about and is not just there to make a quick buck or not just there, you know, for the sake of being there because you've been shoved in some sort of position where you're like, okay, go and make some videos now and then you have to just go and go away and make them. You need to actually make sure that you're enthusiastic about your topic and you're an expert authority. And your marketing videos really, really need to do this. Now, I use this really simple formula in pretty much all of my online videos in various different markets. And that is, number one, to provide reliable facts and valuable information to prospects, to customers, or to really anyone who's interested in that subject. Even if they're not going to become a customer, it doesn't matter. It still helps establish your brand, establish yourself as an expert. And number two, provide solutions rather than just products only. And what I mean by this is not just having adverts or trying to sell stuff in every single video you make, but actually offering, you know, valid, valuable advice. You know, as of going back to the first point, really reliable facts and information, but not just products, not just relating to what you're selling, also relating to stuff that, you know, applies generally to your marketplace. And it, you're by doing this, sure, you may not make sales directly off every single video, but inadvertently, you really are establishing yourself as an expert, which is really what this video is all about today. So here is some examples of information that provides a really great benefit to anyone watching, you know, and this, as I say, can be applied to absolutely any kind of business, whatever it is, if it's a online business or a more kind of more traditional, conventional brick and mortar business, all this stuff applies. So how to save money? Now, I'm not just talking about personal finance, you know, saving on your credit card bill. I'm talking about absolutely anything. It could be how to, for example, let's say you're an expert in the field of telecommunications and you sell and install phone systems and you have potential prospects who make huge numbers of outgoing international calls. So they're constantly calling different countries all day, every day and their phone bill is gigantic. And you know how to save the money by perhaps delivering an internet-based phone system or VoIP. Well, you can show them exactly how to do this and they'll thank you, they'll be pretty much in your debt forever for pretty much cutting their phone bill in half or in quarter or whatever it may be. How about how to perform a task more easily? You know, if you're a time management guru, for example, then you can provide some really, really valuable advice to how people can achieve more during their day. Training on using a product. Now this is really, really important. And this will not only benefit your customers, but it will also benefit you. And here's what I mean. We use these kind of videos all the time to teach people how to use our products on the internet. Now if you've got a physical product, maybe you're selling machinery and your customers purchase the machinery, they normally would have to make, on average, let's say five phone calls to your product team to find out how to use that particular machine. You know, they're not sure what certain switches do or whatever it may be. Well, if you have a video explaining all these points to your customers or potential customers, not only will that reduce your support time significantly and reduce your incoming phone calls or incoming emails, but it will also help sell the product because customers will feel like they already know how to use a product or a service before they've even purchased. And if they've already got that familiarity with your product, then they may be more likely to buy it. How about how to learn a new skill? If you're an expert in a particular field, you can impart your knowledge on people and teach them all kinds of neat stuff that perhaps they wouldn't otherwise know about, or they may have to pay you know, to go on an expensive training course and you can deliver that information for free 
And then when it comes time to find or purchase a product or pay for some consultancy in a specific area, who are they going to go to? Of course, they're going to think of you first. Now, your videos must appear valuable. And this title is perhaps a little bit incorrect in that they shouldn't just appear valuable. They actually must be valuable. You've got to deliver genuine value to your prospects, to your customers. So the method of delivery really doesn't matter whether you've decided to do you know, a screencast or a presentation like I'm giving you today, or maybe you want to do some sort of crazy viral video with multiple axes, a funny kind of skit, maybe mocking, you know, certain parts of uh, whatever it is you do day to day. This really is kind of unimportant. You might just have a fancy green screen or a fancy background and just be talking directly to the camera. But what really does matter is the solutions, the benefits and the facts your viewer can actually take away and use. So if you have all of these things, you know, if, if your videos are genuinely offering solutions or answers to questions and there's benefit to watching them, then you can really focus on promoting it safe in the knowledge that you'll be helping people out and you'll be establishing yourself, as I said in the first couple of slides, as a real expert in your area. Inviting comments is also important. You see, when you click onto a video, particularly on YouTube or you know any of the other video sharing sites, which one are you going to trust more? The one with 200 comments below it or the one with no comments below it? And it's also important, you know, in terms of SEO, because sites like YouTube like social interaction. So if you have lots and lots of backlinks coming towards your videos, or you've got comments below them, sites like YouTube may rank your video as more important than your competitors. And this is really overlooked, but directly inviting comments with a call to action within the actual video people are watching is real overlooked technique. So by the way, if you like this video, if you like what I'm talking to you about today, feel free to comment. You can also create buzz on social networks. Ask your friends, your contacts, promote your video. If, if you think it's going to be value to your industry or your market, then why not do that? Because if you're, as I say, if going back to the other slide when I said your videos don't, shouldn't just appear valuable, they actually must be valuable. But if they really are of value, no one's going to have any kind of issues with sending them out to their list or putting it on their website or putting it on their Facebook page, etc., etc. If you use Twitter and you're a modern business who uses Twitter, finish your tweets with please retweet and have a link to the video within the tweet. You know, ask Facebook friends to stumble or dig your video. All of these things really help in terms of getting the videos ranked well and also getting more traffic to your videos as well. And also use the share feature on YouTube. When you first upload it, make sure you share it on your own Facebook profiles, on your own Twitter profiles, or any other social network. Maybe you're on LinkedIn. You can embed your YouTube videos pretty much anywhere. And also to remember to include them on things like your blog if you have one. It's something you may want to consider doing is creating two versions of a video. Now, YouTube automatically does this. If you upload a high quality HD video like the one you're watching now, you'll notice that at the bottom of the player, it will actually offer various different um, qualities which you can choose from. So you may want to point out that there's two versions available. For example, if people are on dial-up, which let's face it, is very few people these days, but there are a lot of mobile users using things like iPhones and Android and Blackberry who may check out your videos. If they've got a low quality version available, it's likely to work really, really well on mobile devices and they're more likely to watch them if they know the videos are short and available in a lower resolution. You also need to include a trailer. Now this can really be before or after the video. And this is going to be stuff like who you are, you know, where you're from or what expertise, what, are, what are your area of expertise is, you know, what company, how to reach you. You know, as an example, at the start of this video, I didn't just cut straight to the topic. I had a slide which said, I'm James, and I'm from the Web Video Co. There was a link to our website on there. Don't just assume that having a URL at the end of the video or in the video description, it's going to do all the work. You need to actually mention who you are. You need to big yourself up a bit. I know that kind of sounds very egotistical, but it's true because there's so many other videos out there on the internet. You need to give your viewers a reason to trust you and believe everything you're saying. 
And also, it helps with branding. It helps your videos look more polished and more professional if you can have a company logo and a solid theme running throughout the video. Also, link to your site in the description as well as actually in the video. Now, if you think about YouTube and the description of the video, well, the text in the uh, description and the text in the title is searchable, whereas any kind of text or any information in the actual video, search engines aren't advanced that, that advanced yet that they can actually read what's contained within the video, so it'll just see what's written around it. So bear in mind that your description and the link in your um, description is very, very important. And also you need to have a powerful title in your presentations, if you, especially if you want to establish yourself as an expert, you need to actually make sure people are finding your videos. So don't just call it companyname.com because people aren't going to be searching for your company or it's very unlikely unless you're Microsoft or Google or someone. Your video, your viewers are actually going to be searching for phrases relating to how do I dot 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 or how do I save money on dot 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 or, you know, how can I find out how to dot dot dot. You know, so you need to really hone in on these search terms and point your videos search the search engine optimization you know, obviously keywords in your videos the title the description as i mentioned previously and these phrases are going to determine whether your video appears as a suggestion comes up on google even or not now if you're not sure what keywords people are searching for you can use services like google keyword tool or word tracker to actually find out what people are seeking so here is the most important message of all all right that you are an expert and a professional who actually knows what they're talking about and knows what they're doing. And also, you know exactly how to help. You know, you're not just someone who's putting up videos to promote your company, but you actually know how to help people, how to deliver a certain solution or answer questions. And also that you can deliver the information, services and the products that your viewers need to succeed. Just before you go, hold in there for a second. Because before you go, I want to give you my five top time-tested and proven principles behind every successful video that I've ever made. In fact, I want to give you this 100% free. So head on over to www.thewebvideo.co forward slash five secrets to claim your copy right away.